Hello, welcome to RV Max US YouTube channel. What I have behind myself here, a beautiful national RV, which was built by Country Coach or national RV owned the Country Coach. It is on a Dynamax chassis, 400 Cummins, just beautiful shape, full body paint. This whole slide comes out in front from the bottom here. Reveal 8,000 watts on end generator. Windshields are free from any cracks or any star cracks, so it's in really good shape. Even I'm noticing this mirrors are in a really good shape. Got a little bit of discoloration here, but no typical oxidation. 3M film has been removed, though it's not there in really good condition. The BMW headlights are in really nice shape. As you can see, has uh, some fog lights on the bottom. Here we got, look at this, hydraulic generator slide comes out. It has only 482 hours, so it is an 8,000 watt generator. Back in the days in 2004, a lot of Monaco's and competitor, they were putting 7,500 watts. So this one has a 500 more watts. That's what Country Coach did. Their chassis is legendary. I mean, uh, later on, we're gonna test drive and tell you. This is where all your chassis components, your relays and fuses are located at. You also have, uh, let's see, air chuck is in front. You can see beautiful full body paint. Top part of the window has a little fog. Beautiful exterior. Has a typical uh, national and country coach slight d -lamp, if you call that. I mean, it's just almost hard to see. They're usually on the bottom of the slide out. I just like to nitpick it, okay? This is a 2004, anyhow you cut it, it's about 18 years old, but it's in excellent, excellent condition. Paint is in great shape. Very, very hard to see checking. I've seen a lot of worse than that. Beautiful, full paint. This is where you have an LP tank, liquid propane. Over here, we have a pass-through storage, dual pass-through storage tray. It'll come out this way and other side. I'll show you from the other side. So it does slides on both sides. What they call is a dual pass-through storage. Same as on this one. So you have a two huge storage trays. And listen to the way the door shuts. This is where you have your 50 amp power cord. And they are electrically wind, and that's pass through storage also. It's got a little scrub here from probably someone left the door open and slide went in and out. Um, we have a new slide out topper. We'll show you that when the slide is open. This is your typical wet bay. The previous owner took the electric reel off for, for power. You do have electric reel for 50 amp power cord. That's for water hose, but you know, you can just hook your hose up here right now and let uh, tank flush, that's your, uh, uh, let's see, that's where the water pump, uh, water hooks up to for your city water. Black tank, gray tank, outside shower. That's your gravity fill, you can fill the water up. Listen, I like this feature. You may see me doing it again, it's got alarm. I love that. Somebody's gonna jump on, you can turn that off. Water pump on, on and off here. Let's see, compartment light just came on because I couldn't turn it on, but look, it's very nice. A lot of stuff working this coach, okay? Uh, I love the construction of it. Unfortunately, they don't make coaches like this anymore. Now I want to reveal that. You see this family coach association? They may have a little stress crack or some underneath, you know, just a little. That was a typical of it. I don't know how many of you would tell you all this stuff, you know? Sometimes I, I, I find myself doing TMI. It's called too much information, but... What I know, I'm gonna tell you. Does that mean I'll tell you everything? I, I don't know everything, uh, but what we know, we've been in business 25 years. What we know, we're gonna tell you. That's a bedroom slide, not a lot of oxidation. I've seen a lot of junk motorhomes. This is a nice, beautiful motorhome. Nice paint skim in it. I, I, I don't know if you could see that or not. We have a window awning on a bedroom as well as a living room slide. Side radiator. Look at this exhaust. It's built into this fiberglass body 
Country Coach, a.k.a. National RV. They did a really good job. I think my sons keep telling me, he said, Dad, the exhaust is tuned, and it does sound really good. I'll probably crank that motorhome up and let you see 10,000-pound towing capacity Reese Type 3 hitch. We have a solid fiberglass roof on top. You have a rear access to this ISL uh, L9, they call it later on, but ISL Cummins with 1,250 foot pound of torque. We have extensive ladder you can get up on top. I love the colors. Isn't it a nice color? It's a beautiful color. We have 10 gallon water heater on the back. See what's here? You can change your fuel filters from right here. So easy to do. Some of the older Beaver and high dollar coaches did that. Your mechanic would appreciate that. We have this done last year or something. We got a cutoff switch for chassis. That's your air intake. 10 gallon water heater. That is a washer dry uh, vent. It does not have one, but you can install one. We'll talk about that when we go inside. Those are your two big bus batteries, inverter, some circuit breakers solenoid all that stuff's are located here those are more, most for coach side aluminum wheels look at those aluminum wheels beautiful aluminum wheels those are 11 r big tires you don't need new tires so answer to that question is tires are good you probably get another five six years out of them they probably 2000 uh six, 18 or something like that but but they have hardly got a 1000 miles on them this is a slide out tray. Let me show you that. Oh, you got to unlock here. Now look at this. So see how much it comes out here on patio side? It will come out on the other side. Even if you have slide open that much, you're still going to have all this room to access. We have some, I think these are like a windshield covers. I didn't turn my interior lights on. Uh, compartment lights, but it has a switch and we can turn the compartment lights on. That door was locked. So we have another full storage. And I love the way door shuts. Listen to them quality sounds when it shuts. Another little storage. Here you have access for all your hydraulic leveling jacks, motor and all that. Again, I'm giving you TMI. The more you can fix your own motorhome or do a little maintenance on your own, you're gonna save money. Uh, dual fill, so you can have one fill up here and another side, another fill up. It's a 9402 model on an Islander. We have a manual crank awning and an electric patio awning along with a bedroom, another patio, uh, another awning on a back bedroom on a drive passenger side. So we made a complete circle. Let's show you roof and let's go inside. All right, let's go inside. I'm excited to show you inside. Starting with the steps, you see the LVP luxurious vinyl plank uh, flooring. We have the sidewalls and the steps are done. And you're going to love the inside of it. It's a really beautiful coach. Leather seats on a boat side. Captain and co-captain. No excessive wear or tear. It's in just great condition, okay? Really nice. And we'll go over the cockpit area before we get on a test drive on this. Look at the, look at the steering wheel. It says CC, but we'll go over again. Country coach. The national and country coach were same company in 2004. As you see up front, we have a LCD Vizio Smart TV with a little uh, Nakamichi little sound bar. Has an old school CD changer, probably still work. Uh, over here, we have a old time VCR and a video distribution. You can change all this audio equipment, video equipment out. But uh, we'll go over the color backup monitor. We'll go over all that. Both of these seats will turn around and gives you swivel. Over here, we got a nice recliner that we just put in. Uh, you could put some kind of little pillow in here and make it a little bigger. And uh, that's a nice uh, 
nice recliner on this side you got a same leather on a driver and a passenger seat i think got three seat belts or two i would say two seat belts so the purpose of video like i said earlier is show you good bad and ugly we got a little stain up on the bottom here you know no big deal but i think we put new slide out top and it, it, it stopped the water leak now you got to maintain some people say hey, this motor may ever had a water leak it's just like asking somebody's my age middle age and 50s that hey if you ever had a fever yeah it just didn't turn into pneumonia and died i mean you know uh so all right here back here has got little unevenness you know but nothing wrong no water leaks we've had this motor home for a while cabinets are beautiful beautiful cabinets we have uh some owner's manuals there we'll run into it in a second when we get there it does have an automatic sofa so look right here push of a button Thank you. There we go. It becomes a nice bed. And it goes back in. Another coaches they do it is a Winnebago, but this is really nice. I love the leather material. It's not like some of these new 2014, 15, their material flakes off. I mean, man, I'll tell you what, the old is gold. It looks leather. If it whatever it is, is a high dollar material. Not like today's junk. It's just kind of like a Anyways, over here, we got another Korean countertop, little wine glass holder, if you would call that. Showcase, yep. Booth dinette, that's another added feature in a 40-foot diesel pusher, so you can sleep more people. Uh, you can fold this thing down, it becomes bed. You still have some storage under there. Check this out. I love them. So you got some storage, lock in place. This side, too, yep. come down now if you notice while i'm down here that's a new carpet we put new carpet along with this lvp uh natural maple color it almost blends in this ceramic tile a little extra island for kitchen area we have a double nice uh sink it's just a it's probably hard surface it's not a ceramic it's like ceramic or something Got a pull-out sprayer, water filter. Even the window treatment is same solid surface of uh, Corian. That's really nice. Lots of cabinets. Got a convection oven. I think this is a microwave oven, maybe microwave oven. Uh, there is a three-burner gas stove, indeed. Yep. Really nice, no damage whatsoever that I can see. Uh, these are the books and records. There we go. Owner's guide. It's got all kinds of uh, manuals and stuff, and some, some also some uh, service records. All, right, all the paperwork is back in there. Over here, we have a double side refrigerator, double uh, double door refrigerator. It runs on LP and electric power. Has an ice maker. I think tray is missing, but should have a sliding pantry. It does. You have a lock, unlock it, and it comes out. I love the woodwork here. Not kind of big mirror here. Um, so has a fantastic fan up on top for a kitchen area. Coming in the middle right here, we do have a privacy door to come in the middle of a bathroom area and before you come in the bathroom area we have a, a command center if you would call you a thermostat that controls both acs they're running right now two runs zone. excellent two zone air conditioning and a heat pump fantastic vent fan that controls in the, bathroom. the back this one controls that oh. in the front we have a inverter and 13.1, two volts, float charging. Is the batteries in a good condition? These are your slide-out controller. It also has AGS, stands for Auto Jan Start. This is your uh, uh, level test water pump. I think level test little switch is broken here, but you know, it, it, it still works. Carbon monoxide. All right, coming around here, we have a nice medicine cabinet. Another fantastic fan up on top. All your switches are here too for everything. Yep, Intellitech 
all the switches works everywhere. Pump, alarm, it even has alarm. Check this out. So if you are, somebody's attacking, you can put that on. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Uh, nice countertop, nice backsplash paper, what do you call wallpaper. Some storage under here. We've got at least three drawers. And check this out. Nice bathtub. I mean, it's a really nice bathtub. I always like to walk in and... Dog a dog bath, yeah, a nice bath. Oh, hey, nice size. Yep, yep. So we're coming in this area. The bedroom has another sliding pocket door, or well, two of them actually, a pair of doors, and they have a nice little latches. So you know you should have a little pre-flight checklist before you take off. You latch them closed. Well, first turn you're gonna come. Toilet is here. Area. Thank you for keeping me in yeah, line. We've got a sink. private toilet and another sink. So you have a two sinks. Like that. that is nice. And you've got some cabinet under there. Another fan up on top. Another cabinet back here. Now come on in the bedroom. I love this setup. you got a, another slide in a bedroom that gives plenty of room to walk around. It's a queen size bed. Now, some people would like to say, hey, can I have a little wider? You could go ahead and order an Olympic size queen bed. You'll get another six inches and you got two, three inches there. It can go wide if you want it to go a little wider. Let's see what's under there. Should have some storage. Yeah, a little storage. You could put some uh, pillows and bed sheets and stuff like that. Korean counter continues on this end. We have a six drawers and a little laundry hamp. It's, it's, it's what you call hamper. hamper. Oh, your uh, breaker. breaker panel. Yep. Some cabinets up above. Oh, by the way, this Vizio TV, we just got it out of this compartment. It's a huge storage. Check this out. It was just lay down while you're traveling. You lay it down, but it's here. And then you can, if you would like you to put on. put it on a frame and let it. You could. Out. I mean, yeah, you could have this thing hole open up. Imagination, you can do all kinds of woodwork. This is where your washer dry would go. Now check it out. There is a vent. Uh, you can go ahead and put, a, if you put a vent list, you would not use that. But if you, you do the old school vented uh, washer dryer combo, you would do that. There's a water connection in the back, so it's, it's easy to plug and play. You can put a washer dryer combo here. Let's look at the back. We have a nice little closet back here it has another uh, hanger there for shirts or shorts or stuff like that and this is access to your dryer washer washer dryer yep that's a service door oh, yep you got two uh, and you can open up here on this side and this side is a little deeper sometimes people put extra chairs or whatever have you is that cedar line? it is a cedar line closet thank you um, hey you even have old cd player uh, nice window treatment you know you may see a little I think I, I noticed a little stain from like you know condensation you know some stuff are there it'll come automatically free by the way we brought in that LVP natural maple floor all the way here so it's all hard surface you just take your little broom and broom it up there's a little bit of carpet on the engine cover but this is a big 400 Cummins with a side radiator you know, that is a neat thing. Yeah. So you don't bump your head. It's got a lot of room up here. Yep. Sorry, just push that there anyway. And the window is up a higher above the, uh, you know, like what, whatever you call them. The headboard. I'm running out of words. Uh, that's nice. I don't like there are some windows are right behind headboards or where the headboard is at the window. I don't like them. They get cold. Uh, I guess this would conclude our inside video. Anything I'm forgetting before we get on the road? This is a really, really nice motorhome. For an older 2004, this is a very quality motorhome. It is a pre-DAF, pre and it's a really good year for ISL 400. No, right before pre-DAF, they put a lot of crap in it. Oh, I would say that, you know, like a, uh, the emission stuff. These are really good engines. So uh, just a good era of a good mechanical engines. Before we get on test drive, let's let's go over the steering wheel. Hey, steering wheel, country coach. We got a smart steering wheel here. We have a 
courtesy lights on the boat side. We have a on off set cruise control, all the uh, wiper blades. We have a steering wheel that could be up and down, tilt, telescopic. All right, over here we have a fan controls. It has a fans, uh, AC overhead lights. That's your dash air. Got a nice little radio here. And it sounds really good, by the way. It's got a really nice stereo. Dash is very nice lit up here. We've got voltmeter, speedometer, tachmeter, fuel on top. On the bottom, you have a water temperature, transmission temperature, PSI for your front and rear air. They're uh, divided into a red and a green, so you know which one is what. Um, that's your oil, oil pressure and a really good oil pressure. You see that? It's a good motor. We have a, on the left side, you have a power mirrors, um, 482 hours, air dump. You can dump the air. Look at this. The whole coach is just going down with just one button. Boom. So when you get to the campground, you do that, and then you deploy your power gear leveling jacks, which you have automatic and manual. And that's a really nice feature to dump your air out before you do it. Engine brakes, middle is off, top is on high and the low. So it's got two stage engine brakes. That's your uh, block heater, auxiliary start engine button here, uh, mirror defogger, driving lights, headlights, city horn, and a uh, air horn's got a little air leak, but it still works. All right, six speed Allison. <laughs> oh, got some people honking back at us. That is Mayan. Uh, he's learned from probably since he was a little boy for me. All right, six speed Allison MS3000. You got all the IntelliTech. You can turn your look. Look at your alarm. Somebody can turn lights on. The docking lights from here, porch light. A hall light, bedroom, galley, all. We have two nice cigarette lighters. So one for your cell phone, one for your GPS, whatever. This is just a really nice uh, setup here. I love this country coach setup. It is a national. We've got a nice backup monitor. We have an electric sunshade. And I think let's hit the road. I'm really excited to hit the road on this Dynamax chassis. I test drive on this 2004 National Islander Country Coach. I mean, look at this thing. Oh my God, I love it. You know why I love it? Because it's 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 a true tubular. It's, I think it's called True Dynamax tubular stingers, like a double chassis. It's the same monocoque. It also called bod, a uni body or uni a uni cage. The tubular beefy structure goes entire throughout the coach. I mean, I'm talking about all the components of the motorhome is under the uni cage. I mean, this thing is got big, massive airbags. Um, it has a Coney adjustable hydraulic sock absorber, absorbers. You have a ISL 400 big Cummins with a 1250 foot pound of torque. I mean, you know, the, where the chassis has the engine sitting it, it's so beefy that you know what the power is applied to the road i mean it runs so nice let me try a cruise on here man cruise is engaged i'm doing about 65 miles an hour and i'll tell you what i got this lane runs excellent i mean you know the quality of ride is it's super smooth so So semi monocoque chassis with the 400 coming side radiator with the Coney suspension, full ride, air ride suspension. I tell you what, it, it gives you a phenomenal ride. Rigidity is it's probably better than any other coaches of this era, uh, better than Monaco. Engine brake. Oh, engine brake works great. Yeah, this is a great motorhome, only 47,000 miles. And we just had a come in service this motorhome. You know, by no means it's a perfect motorhome. I mean, nothing is 2004. It's 18 years old. Air brakes, I mean, I love this floor. 
we got a, a updated backup monitor, color backup monitor. We have uh, three sun visors. They're easily operated for, with the driver's reach. Let's get back on the highway again. I love this motorhome. It's made to go on the highway. Man, check out this thing. 1,250 pound foot torque. I mean, pound foot of torque. It, I mean, you can just feel it. Love this thing. I've always known, you know, people compare Freightliner with a Spartan chassis and Dynomex. I think I'll, I have always known in the last 20 plus years of motorhome business, Dynomax is a real deal. Unfortunately, they went out of business in 08. Yes, Winnebago owns the uh, name. They own the factory or whatever out there. But man, oh, by the way, speaking of they went out of business, everything is coming. Dallas and transmission with a MH3000 uh, Allison transmission. You got an Onan 7500 generator with about 400 hours. Man, exhaust brake works great. I mean, I got to pass this truck, but I got to take next exit. It runs really well. Wow, look at this, it steers straight, straight as an arrow. I don't know what else I can add. Uh, we'll probably add a little Freon for the dash air, that's typical. All the gauges are very easily readable. You got tilt, telescopic steering wheel. You have a city and air, uh, city and a uh, highway air horn. The air horn seems to have a little air leak or something. Yeah, this thing rides great. I don't know what else I can add. Our phone numbers are yes. <laughs> I can't go on like mine. Mine loves driving. I do too. But look at this thing. It drives great. All right, my number is eight six four four zero four double zero five four. That's eight six four. Four zero four double zero five four, or you could also call Mayan at eight six four three seven six five six zero zero. That's eight six four three seven six five six zero zero. Please subscribe to our channel if you like the video. Give us thumbs up. Thank you so much. We are in Greenville, South Carolina. We can help you finance this motorhome, even though as old as two thousand four. If you have a credit score above 700 it'd be a lot easier we do take trades we also sell warranty or you can buy your own warranty man I, I love the way this thing rides it's it's a beautiful riding machine it's just super super smooth but at the same time the rigidity uh, I think I repeat that word again the rigidity of this chassis the tubular chassis beefy chassis it's semi monocot ch chassis it's just beyond uh, the independent front suspension it's probably beyond its competition all right well thank you for watching our videos and god bless you have a great day